Hi, I'm Tom Salmon. Plastics has improved virtually every aspect of how we live, from everyday safety and convenience to advanced technology. Plastics also offer a pathway to improving sustainability by lowering a product's carbon footprint and increasing its recyclability. Many of us know this, but are not comfortable enough to truly advocate for these benefits. So with this in mind, we launched Plastics Ambassadors. We've been building up our team and encouraging them to take a more collaborative role in educating our partners, customers, and our communities. With this in place, the next step was to elevate our goals and commitment. With our new Certified Plastics Ambassadors program, we're now empowering our team to engage in conversations at a higher level as we design for sustainability. We're looking at the big picture in areas such as energy utilization, greenhouse gas impacts, and product innovation. First graduates of this program are well positioned to make an impact and are already advancing goals which directly impact our strategies, customers, and communities. The decision framework that we've been learning at the University of Michigan allows us to deal with the things that we believe are most critical, make the most effective trades, and be able to communicate those with confidence to the market that we are doing the right things and taking a holistic view to the problem. We're all working in unison today for the good of the cause as opposed to independent units. And so our ability to connect those dots through our scale and through our talent puts Barry in a very unique position. I think our, our thinking about this is to do three things really. One is to get people to understand where they're at, what the challenges are, so we call that sort of the inspiration piece. The second is to get them thinking about where they want to go on their sustainability journey, we call that the aspiration piece. And then third, we want to give people some tools so that they can actually make that journey real, and we call that the action piece. So inspiration, aspiration, action. Yeah, I, th I think this program's uh, driven our folks to be a lot more open-minded and really challenge their previous perceptions of what sustainability is. This week has really opened my mind towards the whole climate change debate and how emotions and perceptions influence the lenses that we see through and make decisions by. We as Barry are empowered to make decisions. We're the ones who can actually help design a change and that will be effective for sustainability. And that's going to take all of us in the, in the supply chain, uh, from the resin manufacturers to converters like ourselves, ultimately to our customers who distribute or retail to the consumer of those products. So the end consumer, um, they can change their behaviors. The converters, they're reliant on influencing that consumer. But for us, we're the ones who actually design the core product. So that to me is powerful. So far this week, the most important takeaway that I've had is the time that we spent at the Dearborn plant. It was a great example of a company like Ford making very aggressive sustainability goals in a space that uh, inherently had some headwinds, just like there are for plastic packaging. But Ford made bold statements and made very aggressive objectives, which they overshot. And it was just a great reinforcement that companies like Ford and like Barry are well positioned to lead in, this, in the sustainability space. And now what we need to do when we go back is to make sure that our goals are clearly aligned with our customer sustainability goals so that we can work together as partners for sustainability for the future. Well, one of the things that we know for sure is that the sustainability story is changing. It's changing every day. And so for us, it means taking our best efforts and pointing them in a direction and ultimately get in a very efficient way to that leadership position that we aspire to have. And a big part of that is becoming great decision makers. And I think that's, that's sort of an underlying theme in all of the work that we'll do in sustainability. We want these people getting everybody engaged in sustainability and all, you know, not just generate um, excitement for the program itself, but generate excitement for making the company more sustainable, and making our products more sustainable, and being a leader in sustainability. You know, we, we hope that uh, you know, this is the first cohort of many. This is just the beginning.